Next year, the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra will be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 application processor, AP. This new Qualcomm AP, designed for flagship Android phones, will be unveiled at October's Snapdragon Summit. Qualcomm seems to be prioritizing energy efficiency with this chipset over sheer performance. A tweet from a leaker revealed that internal testing data shows the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 SoC, produced by TSMC using its second Gen 3 M process node, and 3E, features an impressive Adreno 750 GPU. The GPU's peak performance rivals that of the powerful MediaTek Dimensity 9300 AP, but at half the power consumption. This is promising news for the Galaxy S25 Ultra, but there's a catch. While Qualcomm has focused on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4's energy-efficient GPU, the custom Orion CPU cores show only a single-digit performance increase compared to current-generation chipsets like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The battery capacity for Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25 Ultra has been leaked today, and the news isn't great if you were hoping for an upgrade compared to the S24 Ultra. According to the well-known leaker Ice Universe, the S25 Ultra will feature the same 5,000 mAh battery as the S24 Ultra. Additionally, the maximum charging capacity will remain unchanged at 45 watt. Although the S25 Ultra is rumored to have a significant redesign, it seems some internal components will stay the same. This move might be disappointing to some, especially considering that some of Samsung's Chinese competitors have begun equipping their flagship phones with larger batteries. Adding more context, the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 SoC, which is expected to power most Android flagships in 2025, is rumored to be quite power-hungry. The decision by Chinese companies to include larger batteries in their devices might be a direct response to this. If the rumor about the S25 Ultra's battery is true, Samsung may be taking a step forward in design but potentially two steps back in battery life compared to its main Android competitors.